Okay, we're gonna make a mushroom risotto today. So I've got a bunch of different types of mushrooms. These are just regular brown mushrooms, or you can get portobellos or portobellis. Um, and then I've got some, I think, I can't remember what kind of mushrooms these are, but another kind of mushroom. <laughs> and then I've got dried mushrooms that have been rehydrated. So you can see it's a kind of a dirty water here. So we're gonna rinse these out. Just gonna get rid of the, rid of the old, the water that they've been hydrating in. Give them a quick rinse and we're good. All right, so we've got these. So for this risotto recipe, what we wanna do is have some of the mushrooms cook with the risotto when we're cooking it. And some of them sort of held aside for the end. So you get those nice little chunks of, of mushroom in there at the end. So we've got uh, the three types of, of mushrooms. We've got uh, one cup of arborio rice. You can use Calrose rice. There's a couple other Italian style rice is what it's called as well. But the arborio stuff is works the best in terms of the overall effect at the end. Uh, half an onion, some chives, um, basically olive oil, two tablespoons of olive oil, some white wine for cooking, salt, okay, probably need a little pepper at the end as well, and some lemon rind. So I'm going to also use a little bit of balsamic glaze, okay, and you know, we'll show you later on how I use this. So that's it, that's what we have, chives, a little bit of rosemary too, not sure I said that. Okay, so I'm going to chop some of this stuff up now along the way here. Put these out of the way. Put them bowl together here. You can put the chives and the rosemary together in a bowl. Uh, take the rosemary just a bit like that. And again, we're just roughly chopping it. Put the onion. So we're going to dice the onion, but really, you know, fairly fine because it'll mix in with the risotto and it'll become part of the creaminess of the risotto. Give it a nice flavor. Now later on we're going to talk a little bit about technique when we're going to uh, to make the risotto. There's a few things we'll do that are kind of little little tricks. So we want to have sort of different size mushrooms but I think some recipes say to thinly slice them. I kind of like them chunky like this rather than thinly sliced. So I'll kind of go through these, um, you know, roughly, roughly chop these. Now these guys, the oyster mushrooms, I take off the bottom there, throw that out. The bottom of the stem. Now we can keep most of the stem. This one I'm going to chop them a little smaller. They're a little tougher. So they'll stay pretty solid and uh, they'll keep the shape that they have. So I'm going to cut, slice these up like this because they kind of look nice in the risotto. But uh, we'll put those in as well. Okay, so here we are at the stove. What we're going to do is uh, sweat out the mushrooms. And to sweat the mushrooms out, let's turn the heat on here. Usually I have it pretty high, like medium, medium high. So I'll skillet here. And what we're going to do is we're going to do it in two, two parts. We're going to do one set of mushrooms that is going to be part of the cooking of the risotto itself. And the other will be reserved aside um, to put in and mix in right at the end so that we get that chunkiness um, and you know, get the, the texture of the mushrooms in the risotto itself. So on the skillet, we're going to, we'll do one set at a time. So we'll do the larger one first. And in the skillet, we'll put uh, some olive oil in about, you know, a little over a teaspoon, maybe close to a tablespoon, and a nice uh, sort of tablespoon of butter. And they will shrink down quite a bit, so no worries about that. I don't think there's enough, you can use enough mushrooms. You can use as many mushrooms as you want, but I sort of kept it to, you know, the amount that you see here. Uh, we'll put a pinch of salt in. That kind of makes it, helps it sweat as well. So we're gonna just do, allow the mushrooms to sort of settle there. So in the meantime, I'll get my other ingredients together. Let me sweat a little bit here. I'm going to just drizzle them with a bit of this balsamic glaze. And that just gives it kind of like a nice little bite 
when you're biting into the, uh, when you're eating the risotto, you get this mushroom, but with a, just a tiny bit of, of um, acidic uh, tone to it. Okay, so we'll do that in a minute so we get this. Now usually for things like pepper, you'll put pepper in at the end because pe pepper will go bitter if you put it in at the start of your cooking process. You'll want to wait till the end. I'll prepare some Parmesan, pre-grate it, and then at the end we'll, we'll, we'll uh, basically fold it in along with the mushrooms and a bit of pepper and then we'll season it to taste with some salt. But we'll go through that in a, in a bit. It's starting to reduce down pretty good. Okay, those are feeling pretty close now to the uh, to what we want for later. So I'll take my balsamic glaze and I'm just gonna drizzle drizzle some on like this. About that much, not very much. After that, I'll just toss in there a bit. That's good. Okay, now at this point, we'll add the rosemary and the chives in. Put this in, into this particular thing. So we'll just uh, mix those in. With uh, fresh herbs, you don't want to put them in unless they're woody fresh herbs. So like part rosemary you can put in to dishes earlier on. It's kind of a woody um, uh, herb, so it's okay. But for things like chive, chives or parsley and that, you want to put those in at the end. So really we're just going to put this aside. You see it's reduced quite a bit. Put this aside here. Put it into that pan. Have a tiny bit more oil here for our second set of mushrooms. Now I've left most of the sort of um, of the uh, oyster mushrooms in here. They're a little firmer and they're going to be part of the part of the cooking of the risotto itself. That you'll see in a minute. A bit more butter. So this second batch of mushrooms are going to cook a little less because they are going to be part of the cooking of the risotto here. So we're just giving them a little bit of a sweat, and I'll shut that off now, and uh, we'll move over to this pot here. 